clip, um, I just want to, there's just, people ask the question, so the question, how this series even came about, I had never intended to tell our story ever. That wasn't, like I said before, I could hide elements of my life in other characters and other projects. But when I would go on, there was a moment I was doing a lot of panels and talking and, and having more access to people and they were always asking me, well, how do you guys do it? How do you guys, you guys seem, you know, how are you managing to have a career, build, I mean, not just have a career, you guys are building an empire, you guys are married, children, you, you seem, you always talking about you love them and love having sex with them all the time, like how are you managing like all of this all the time over 20 years? And really this, so then people started saying, well you need to write a book, and I was like, ain't nobody got time to write a book. <laughs> and so, and that was my aha moment, I guess. I was like, well, maybe it could be a TV show. So really try to carve out this new, and I always like to break new ground, even with being Mary Jane, trying to tell a new, a, a, a similar narrative differently. And I wanted to sort of maybe, maybe it's a TV memoir-ish drama uh, series. And I also, the revival of a romantic comedy, all of those things were important to sort of say in this, have this opportunity to say that. Um, but yes, I, I, I wanted to, answer the question about how we were able to do it. And it's the small moments for me. The way he opens, his, opens the door, Salim always opens the door. We were walking last night on Circuit Avenue. He always, or he always is on the outside of the street, you know, uh, the way a gentleman does. I mean, the, um, and I also people, a lot of my style has come from Salim. So even in that, in that episode, I have, how he has sort of pushed a little bit of, like, he dresses me in some cases. And some people are like, you're a grown woman. You but it's lovely when a man, I mean, you're a man who loves you, shops for you, and wants to dress you. Those are things that I wanted to sort of start to plant the seed and answer the question as to why we were able to do what we did. And on a, this particular clip, she's pouting about something that didn't go right at work and then how he was just able to support her. And the clip goes, the scene goes longer about how he's, he suggests hey, well, we, you know what always helps me is a movie, and you realize, oh, he's just, that's his, filmmaking is his, is his uh, therapy, his dream, his um, goal, but it's also a place where he can be and found a safe place. And so you start to see these little moments about the little weaving and taking the time, a scene like that back a few years ago, they'd be like, let's just cut that, it's moving too slow. Let's, move it on, but taking up the space to show our humanness is what's important to me in this narrative. To take the time to sow a transition. What does support look like? The breath between the each moment is sometimes um, the, day, the step in front, the foot in front of the other, how we got here and then 20 years later. kind of vibe. And I, I love that it shows to the different, because people think intimacy always means the bedroom. But this shows another layer of the intimacy. Yes. You know, you're, sit you're sitting there, Nuri doesn't know really how to feel, but she's talking it out in the moment, and he helps her come to that. I think that's really important. And someone just being there. Yeah. Somebody just to listen to you, you know. Yeah. Um, Spirit of presence. Spirit, oh, I like that. It's very, it's very important. Put that in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> my legal team will be contacting you later. <laughs> I got five on it, that's it. <laughs> Negotiate it, done. Um, let's take a look at this next clip. 